Hi, it's Tim Hagen from Progress Coaching, and welcome to another episode for the Coaching Conversations podcast. Now, we are on Stitcher, we are on iTunes, and multiple different channels. Please check us out. Now, one of the things that you'll get out of our podcast episodes is a lot of content, a lot of strategy. It's not fluff, it's not concept. Yet we really want you to engage with the content and let us know your feedback. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to us. If there's topics you'd love to have us address, we would love to share them with you. Let us know your impact and let us know your feedback. I'm going to call this episode the wild, wild world of artificial intelligence. Recently, I came back from the Association of Talent Development Conference in New Orleans, which was fantastic, Uh, really well run. A lot of great experts, a lot of great exhibitors. We're an exhibitor, um, but some of the things that are coming out with AI are just incredible. Then I started to think about, you know, what does this do to my business? You know, we have our own AI tools. Where does this position us? What's the next steps? I don't think any of us really know. Now, I would tell you, since I got back from that conference, I've really started to do a deep dive into AI. And I want to just share this with you. See, I'm a fan of the ICF, the International Coaching Federation, and they did some research. They actually have a whole research um, committee, which I did not know, and they did a uh, overview of human-based coaching versus AI coaching. And some of the conclusions they had were at the 10-month mark, you know, people were starting to have as much, if not more, success with AI than human-based coaching. And the person doing the research said, and I I couldn't believe that they did this. And it's not a negative thing. I just was shocked because it really shows how much of a wild world we're entering when it comes to coaching and where AI fits in. The person doing the research said, well, at the 10-month mark, what we started to surmise is that the human-based coaching started to take a back seat because as we all know, human-based coaching is really expensive. And I thought to myself, wow, if I was a human-based coach, I would be upset by that, especially if I went and got certified. Now, I don't think that's what was meant. Now, the second thing is, one of the things that just came out in a recent article, and I think it was Forbes, who said that AI AI can create fatigue. That people using AI, along with doing their regular jobs, being online, can create fatigue. I did not even think of it that from that perspective. So the wild world of AI is upon us. How are we going to use it? Now, I'm going to throw out a prediction. I don't think it's going to take over human-based coaching. I think it's going to fall at least with what we do. We teach three types of coaching. Direct coaching, one-on-one coaching, or group coaching. Number two, we teach motivator coaching, which is really centered around career development. And then number three, supplemental coaching, which are Uh, coaching strategies where the leader doesn't have to physically be present. They scale themselves, they scale their time. And I think AI is going to fall in that category. I think it's going to become a prescriptive solution for leaders, for companies to utilize coaching. And so it's just so interesting that the ICF came out with that research. And I was just on the uh, a session today with uh, Tim King from uh, Southwest Consulting, great company, by the way. And he and I were talking about the uh, the human-based aspect and how we can read emotions and how people need to be emotional. Are we really going to be like that uh, when we're talking to an AI system? And I thought, well, that's a great point. But on the other hand, we also can trigger other people's emotions too. So it just puts us in a really interesting perspective. What are your thoughts? Thank you for listening to another episode of Coaching Conversations by Tim Hagen and Progress Coaching. Now, our company is always coming out with new and innovative solutions to help leaders coach their employees. And recently, we just created a new service called Coach to You, where leaders can pick and choose topics and assign 7 to 21-day programs for employees to learn and, more importantly, apply actions and then reflect and share what they're going to do going forward as a result of the learning. It's called Coach to You. We're literally bringing coaching to your employees. If you're intrigued, we'll have a link in each one of our episodes where you can get more information. And again, thank you so much for listening to another episode.